Hey guys, Pettinenton79 here. Uh, gonna bring to you today a little video on something that, uh, well, two things that I purchased recently and I'm gonna do some comparison on and some review on. So uh, basically this is the classic Stanley Adventure cook set. So with that little folding handle and that little tab, it has two cups in there. The cups are not in there. So because we're not gonna talk about the entire set, and the cups so even though the cups are practical uh, what I'm mainly going to focus on is the uh, cook set itself so the pot so basically uh, there's a company called boundless voyage uh, that makes a 900 millimeter titanium pot so uh, basically um, this is the exact same design well almost the same design there's a few changes uh, mainly in the handle and where it is positioned so I'm gonna show you guys that so you can see the angle on this one and you can see the angle on this one. I'm gonna take off the lids on both of them so you guys can see. So basically, uh, yeah, this is a little bit different so that the angle is not exactly the same. So, uh, and the little retainer tab that's sliding around doesn't slide around in here. But also I'm not using the tab because uh, those prongs, those stainless steel, that, that handle, that folding mechanism is really tight in place. So it, you really have to push it to, uh, so basically if you handle it like that, it's not, it's not gonna move at all. So uh, guys, Boundless Voyage Titanium. I did contact Boundless Voyage to ask if there's anything on the titanium. Uh, they assure me that it's 100% pure titanium. Uh, or 99.8 percent so they got a small margin of error but basically uh, this thing is titanium uh, you guys can see uh, already the discoloration uh, there's no treatment there's no paint there's no nothing uh, the titanium has just been sandblasted like many other titanium uh, pots out there it just has a sandblast on it but what I really found interesting about this one is the folding mechanism that uh, really resembled the Stanley. So uh, the Stanley, I mean, is one of the favorite by many people. And I just think that style of handle is just way better than your traditional uh, little folding handle on the sides that you, you just unfold and it just falls flat again. So that uh, with the fact that it uh, retains the top when you put the top on, and you just fold it that is just genius right there so uh, basically you just fold that and boom you have an entire system that's contained that's you know there and ready to go so uh, and the handle is just a little bit longer and a little bit more easier to um, to use in my opinion than the one that folds you know on the side and the curve around the handle I mean the pot itself so and that's why I got the Boundless Voyage as well. So price on this, I pay $19 Canadian plus taxes. And the Boundless Voyage, I paid like $42 and taxes were included. So uh, it's double the price, but this thing is a lot lighter. Uh, the handle though, the handle is stainless steel. So I don't know if they could have put aluminum or something else instead for the handle, just to keep it a little bit lighter. Also, uh, the uh, attachment point there is um, kind of welded in place. I'm guessing this is some sort of tack weld or something because there's nothing on the inside here. You could just see the, the spot uh, on there on the inside, but there's nothing. So basically compared to the Stanley, uh, the Stanley is a riveted inside there. So you can see the rivets. So you get the rivet right there. So that's one difference between the uh, boundless voyage and the uh, the stanley so uh the boundless the, the stanley seems to be a little bit taller guys which is not uh it's it is a little bit taller on the stanley but it is larger if you look at the diameter on the uh on the boundless voyage which i like i like that it's larger and it's just one uniform size instead of going around with the stanley and you know it looks good but is it practical uh i would rather have a flat bottom and basically just something uh uniform instead of uh, having this so also the uh, boundless voyage have some markings on the inside right there 0.5 milliliters and they got it on the outside so a couple of markings graduation 
for uh, you know water 0.5 liter so uh, putting that in there so uh, that's another thing so it's inside and outside so you could you could see the uh, the lines on both sides so uh, really nice feature guys uh, really nice features on the uh, boundless voyage so um, and basically I contacted uh, boundless voyage through Amazon uh, to their store what they're selling uh, you know this the the company on there is boundless voyage that is associated with the uh, their store so uh, basically contacting them is it's only like a couple not even a couple of hours I mean I got a really really fast email response from them and you know I sent them back and forth a couple of email asking them question about their product and uh, they answered me like right away and it's it's good to know that the, the company is behind uh, their product so uh, uh, let's talk about the company itself uh, boundless voyage is probably uh, just you know a company that uh, is not manufacturing is just rebranding uh, some product that they're getting from China uh, but basically guys the Stanley Adventure cook set is also made in China so uh, well let's see that so right there China AT on the bottom there so yeah it's made in China so everything is made in China so it, it doesn't bother me that this thing is made in China as long as it's quality and for now it seems to be quality it's titanium you try to squeeze it and it doesn't go so uh, you really need to squeeze it just to get a little bit of flex but I can also get a little bit of flex on the uh, on the Stanley Adventure cook set so basically the exact same so let's do a quick weight test because I know you guys want to see that with the handle on uh, gotta say guys that little tab on the Stanley is really nice I wish they had something like that on the bundles voyage uh, maybe entirely out of metal so it doesn't go anywhere but uh, basically that little tab is nice you do have a little tab on the boundless voyage that can uh, if you put it like that it can stand and just stay vertical the entire time so you basically just have to take it off that little notch and just fold it one way or the other but it does have a little bit of resistance and it does stay in there if you just do that so if you want to put a stick or something just to lift it up and to uh, to empty it so uh, put it on the side or something uh, that works good as well so some people are replacing that little plastic tab with a uh, with a um, keychain ring but uh, in my opinion the keychain ring is just going to be loose unless you can find a way to you know put it in between the two rings right there and make it that it's it stays up permanently like the Stanley uh, I don't think that's a good idea so but you know I like this one on the uh, on the boundless voyage as well so let's do a little uh, quick uh, weight test so let's see the weight so let's fold that in click and one thing guys look when it's folded in it hap it applies some pressure on so basically I'm gonna put it close to the mic you can't hear anything guys so it doesn't rattle it doesn't move it doesn't do anything so that's what's nice about it so let's la look at the Stanley so the Stanley basically it holds on the only thing you're gonna hear rattle is that little tab right there I'm guessing that's gonna rattle around but you can just hear a little bit of a rattle so it doesn't have as much pressure uh, going that way as the boundless voyage so anyway guys you guys will probably want to see a little weight test to see the weight difference so let me turn on the scale let's let it calibrate itself all right calibration complete so basically this scale is really precise I have a little bit of a uh, little uh, calibrating weight that I'm putting on and it's uh, I think something like five ounces and it, it is exactly five ounces so this thing is really nice uh, nicely calibrated so uh, let's go with the Stanley first so without the cups so this comes with cups but you know if you're gonna go you're probably gonna have your own cups or you know you could place the Stanley cups inside there it's gonna work just as well so but let, let's put it on there and let's see the weight so this is 218 grams so let's go on unit so kilograms ounces it's 7.70 ounces and let's keep going so 7.70 ounces 218 grams so 
All right, so now let's look at the Boundless Voyage. So this is 139 grams. Let's change the unit and let's put in ounces. So that's 4.9 ounces, so 4.90 ounces. So uh, yeah, guys, it's uh, it's a lot lighter. So, uh, but you know, if personally, I don't really care about weight. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that says, "Oh, weight is important and stuff like that." Sure, it is, uh, depending on what type of activity and what type of stuff you're doing. But for me personally, weight is not that much of an issue. Uh, what is an issue, though, is um, how fast it is gonna cook, uh, how stable it is on a cooking platform and how practical and you know in everyday application is so in further video i want to test out uh, on the same burner because i just ordered a couple of burner and a couple of uh, stove uh, from uh, gsi primus and i also got a cheap one from x city so uh, something uh, really basic uh, inexpensive but i want to see how much time does it take to boil uh you know stainless a steel versus titanium. I'm guessing the titanium is gonna heat uh, the water a lot faster uh, because the titanium is thinner and it's a material like uh, aluminum paper. Uh, let's say you put your uh, making cooking something in the oven and you're putting a sheet of aluminum paper. Uh, once you're done cooking or when you remove the piece, you can almost grab the aluminum paper uh, right away. So I'm guessing this thing once you empty it or once yeah, you know, you start cooking on it. It's gonna cook faster than the stain, uh, the, than the Stanley. So you're gonna save up on fuel, and it's gonna cool faster. Uh, another thing I noticed is that uh, when you're washing it, the titanium seems to be drying faster for some reason than uh, the stainless. The stainless keeps the water a lot longer than um, the water a lot longer than the titanium. So that's another point uh, that you know you could you could argue for. So uh, one thing is too that I want to show you guys for the tab. So the mechanism is a little bit more stiff than the Stanley. The Stanley is just a little bit easier just to uh, to unfold, but that's no big deal. You know, you just get used to it. You just know where to press it, and once you find the uh, once you find the rhythm, it's just it's just a lot, lot easier. So, but another thing I wanted to mention, guys. Uh, for the, boundl uh, the um, Boundless Voyage is that that little tab right there uh, when, when you try to slide it in it's not that easy to slide it in just to lock it in place so you know you have to apply a lot of pressure so versus the Stanley but the Stanley in the other case is just flopping around and it's just uh, you know it's just moving around a lot so once you place it in there it's just locking it in but you know, basically, I don't think anybody is using that little tab, and I'd rather have something that's not moving or even that's not there, period, than to have something that's gonna be uh, either uh, hard to use or it's not gonna work great. So, uh, basically, guys, yeah, so I, I really like the handle design on the Stanley, and I'm glad that one, at least one company, is making something similar out there. So, if I could say anything is on the Boundless Voyage, uh, I would probably like to see the handle just a little bit bigger, just uh, so something similar to the Stanley. And uh, another thing that I don't know if it's gonna work over time and it's gonna it's gonna be good is gonna be the fact that it's welded in, uh, welded on the titanium versus uh, something that is uh, riveted on the Stanley. So the Stanley, you get rivets going through it and the uh, boundless voyage well like i said it's it's welded in place so uh that's something i don't know how for durability if it's going to be something that's going to be good uh in the long term but uh yeah so this is something that's going to need to be tested out so i just want to show you guys the box that the boundless voyage came in so this is the box so titanium pot 900 mill milliliter so uh, let's take out there's a little carrying bag that comes with so i thought that was really nice and really ingenious as the stanley the stanley just comes with a a wrapper says saying stanley and stuff and it does come with some tape some uh, type of scotch tape on there but that that scotch tape the uh the glue that it has on 
there's still a little bit of glue I can feel and you guys can see there there's still a little bit of glue in there so uh, that thing I try to remove it with alcohol with something like a a hot uh, steamer a steam washer steam washing machines and I just like blasted it full steam and it just doesn't want to you know it's really hard to remove so I would like to see Stanley just maybe do a wrap a seven wrap you know those uh, uh, those, those plastic uh, wrapping that they have that's rigid uh, that you put around like a big shrink wrap or something uh, I would like Stanley to use that instead of just some cheap scotch tape to, to hold the top I mean the top is already uh, closed like that so but the boundless voyage comes in a cardboard box and you do have a, a nice little uh, nylon mesh so I don't know what you would use that for if you don't want to scratch up your uh, your pot or something so a little tag that came in there so never been lighter always be stronger so boundless voyage so yeah guys it's just a nice little package and I can't wait to do uh, some uh, video testing in the future like I said I'm gonna be testing some stove and I'm gonna be testing these two so titanium versus uh, just uh, stainless steel so I know this thing is one of the most popular system out there but I've tried uh, just to play with it a little bit before I was, uh, you know I made this video and just to for stability on a burner uh, it's not bad but the boundless voyage since it has a larger base it's just a little bit better guys just a little bit better on the uh, on the boundless voyage show I would like Stanley to just forget about that little uh, raised portion and that you know where it flares up at the top and just put it uniform put the bottom flat instead of putting that little recurve that's just a little bit funky when you're putting it somewhere so it doesn't do any anything purposeful in my opinion so uh, the boundless voyage is just flat on the bottom there's kind of a little bit of a you know divot or something but it's not really noticeable so but guys yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comments below uh, do you like the the fact that the boundless voyage has the same type of handle as the Stanley uh, personally this is my preferred type of handle and uh, you know I've been testing putting some water in there and dumping it out and it's just th there's no issue you know it just works great uh, it, it doesn't wobble around it doesn't do anything so you just uh, you know dump the water or dump anything that you're using uh, versus you know something that's more of a uh, folding handle that you're closer to the cup you're closer that way you're a little bit further away you can you know dump it out and you can do uh, you know what you need to do without having a fear to you know being too close to the pot or burning yourself if you get a D handle shape and you just touch the cup or something that way you stay uh, you stay away from the cup and you don't have to be too close to it to uh, you know work with with the water and stuff like that so I think that's one of the features that the Stanley is so popular I think it's the handle design it's really ingenious and I'm glad to see boundless voyage is using the same type of handle on their system so uh, basically it's almost like a copy but uh, if you guys know anything about business patent uh, the patent do expire on some on some product eventually so uh, the Stanley has been there for so long that the patent probably expired on it so now they can do this the exact same thing with boundless voyage so I, I wish more company would do that system especially for a type of mug slash pot that you're boiling water or you know cooking something in there uh, it's just it just makes sense uh, the fact that it folds back around that holds the head the top in place is just it's just a good feature in my opinion so let me know in the comments below uh, what you want what testing you want to see done with the boundless voyage I you know I do have multiple gas stove and I just ordered also a gasifier stove so wood burning stove uh, so I'm gonna be testing that as well so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first look I know it's a long video guys and you know I, I just want to talk a little bit about these two things and just show you guys in detail so I know it's a 20 minute video but hopefully you guys still enjoy that catch you guys on the next one and give it a thumbs up if you appreciate the video guys